Alright, what's up YouTube? I was going to go ahead and make a quick video about NG Repeat. This is a very important directive in Angular and it's also something that we'll be using in the next video. So I thought I'd make a quick video that's only a couple of minutes long about what NG Directive is. Uh, what NG Repeat is, sorry. So basically, you know, we've covered directives before and this is another one that you can read up on which is called NG Repeat. You can actually go ahead and um, yeah, go to NG Repeat here in the documentation and it'll basically show you that it I, iterates over object properties. Now what it takes in, um, as in this example, is an array. An array is to the right and it goes through each value in that array. So like I've kind of have the syntax set up here for each value in this array. Now if you've programmed in Java or I think Python has something similar, you can iterate over a whole array uh, using that kind of syntax. Uh, for example, Java is something like for each you know value in an integer and you'd have a colon in there then you know you do something and so basically that's the same thing here ng-repeat is going to go through a whole array and it's going to repeat this element that it's in it's going to repeat the element that it's in and then it's also going to give you a way to access that variable um, element so for example right here what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out the value of that uh, I'm going to print out the value that I'm currently at uh, of the array so my array is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and I'm going to basically print out uh, that value right here. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, that works perfectly fine. Um, and I can show you that this you know, is an angular expression right here, so you can go ahead and mess with that however you'd like. If this is an object, then you can you know, access object properties. That's totally cool too. And so as you can see, I do have five list items when I only started with one. So, for example, if I have if I had uh, a thousand properties in this array, then I'd end up with a thousand uh, like a thousand elements in this array. I'd end up with a thousand list items because uh, it's going to go through each element in that array, and it's going to print out a new list item. And then you can also can mess around um, with that element by this whole value in thing. Okay, so hopefully that was quick, and you see what ng repeat is. It's a very useful thing. It's a very powerful thing. So uh, hopefully you got learned, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.